Dunning-Kruger effect. This bias occurs when people with little knowledge think they know it all, while experts tend to doubt themselves. For example, a beginner chess player might think they can beat a grandmaster after a few games. Hindsight bias. Hindsight bias is the I knew it all along effect. After something happens, we convince ourselves it was obvious, even if we didn't predict it beforehand. It's easier to connect the dots looking back. Self-serving bias. This is when we take credit for our successes, but blame external factors for failures. For example, if you ace a test, it's because you studied hard. But if you fail, it's because the test was unfair. Fundamental attribution error. We often blame others' actions on their personality, but our own actions on circumstances. For example, if someone cuts you off in traffic, you might think they're rude. But if you do it, it's because you're in a hurry. Bandwagon effect. Ever bought something or followed a trend just because everyone else was doing it? That's the bandwagon effect. We tend to adopt behaviors or beliefs when we see others doing the same. Sunk cost fallacy. Have you ever stayed in a bad movie because you already paid for the ticket? That's the sunk cost fallacy, continuing something because of past investment, even when it's no longer worth it. Optimism bias. Optimism bias is when we believe bad things are less likely to happen to us. For example, thinking you'll never get into a car accident, even though statistics show it's a real possibility. It's like wearing rose-colored glasses. Belief bias. This is when we judge the strength of an argument based on how much we believe its conclusion, rather than whether the logic makes sense. For example, you might agree with a flawed argument just because it aligns with your beliefs. Framing effect. The way information is presented affects our decisions. For instance, a surgery with a 90% survival rate sounds better than one with a 10% mortality rate even though they mean the same thing. Survivorship bias. We tend to focus on the successes and ignore the failures. For example, we admire successful entrepreneurs but overlook the countless others who didn't make it, leading to skewed perceptions of success. Base rate fallacy. This bias happens when we ignore statistical facts, the base rate, in favor of specific details. For example, assuming someone with tattoos is more likely to be an artist than a banker, even if there are far more bankers than artists. Authority bias. We're more likely to trust or agree with someone simply because they're in a position of authority. For instance, believing a questionable medical claim because a doctor said it without verifying the facts. Illusory correlation. This is when we perceive a relationship between two things that doesn't actually exist. For example, thinking that carrying a lucky charm improves your chances of success in a game. Pro-innovation bias. Believing that a new idea or innovation is better simply because it's new. For example, assuming the latest smartphone model is superior, even if the differences from the previous version are minor. Planning fallacy. We underestimate how long a task will take even when we've done similar tasks before. For instance, thinking you'll finish a project in a day, only to find it takes a week. Choice supportive bias. After making a decision, we tend to favor it and downplay its flaws. For example, if you buy an expensive phone, you might convince yourself it's the best choice, even if a cheaper model would have worked just as well. Availability heuristic. We judge the likelihood of events based on how easily we can recall them. For example, after seeing news about a plane crash, you might think air travel is dangerous, even though it's one of the safest modes of transportation. Anchoring bias. Anchoring bias happens when we rely too much on the first piece of information we see. For example, if a car is priced at $20,000 and then discounted to $15,000, you'll feel like it's a great deal, even if the car is worth $12,000. Confirmation bias. We tend to focus on information that supports what we already believe, 
and ignore what doesn't. For example, if you believe in a conspiracy theory, you might only look for evidence that confirms it, ignoring all the evidence against it. False consensus effect. False consensus effect is assuming most people think like you do. For example, believing your political views are shared by the majority just because your friends agree with you. Reality, people are more diverse than we realize. Clustering illusion. Our brains love finding patterns, even when they don't exist. For example, in a lottery, people might think certain numbers are due to win because they haven't come up in a while. Spoiler, the odds don't change. Status quo, bias. Ever stick with an old habit or system just because it's familiar? That's status quo bias. Even when there's a better option, we often prefer what we know simply because change feels uncomfortable. Actor-observer bias. We judge others and ourselves differently. If you're late, you might blame traffic. But if someone else is late, you might think they're lazy or disorganized. This bias is all about perspective. Outgroup homogeneity bias. We see members of groups we don't belong to as more similar to each other than they actually are. For example, assuming people from another culture all share the same traits or behaviors while recognizing diversity within your own group. Recency bias. Recency bias makes us focus on the latest information. For example, if a stock has been doing well recently, you might believe it will continue to rise ignoring long-term data that suggests otherwise. Egocentric bias. This is when we think everyone sees the world like we do. For example, assuming everyone shares your love for a favorite movie or hobby just because you enjoy it, it's a big reason why we misunderstand others. Halo effect. The halo effect is when one good quality makes us assume everything else about a person or thing is also good. For example, we might think a good-looking person is also smart or kind, even without evidence. Negativity bias. Our brains are hardwired to focus on the bad stuff more than the good. For instance, you might remember one negative comment more than 100 positive ones. This bias influences how we see the world and react to situations. Overconfidence bias. Overconfidence bias happens when we think we're better than we actually are. Most people believe they're above average drivers, but statistically, that's impossible. This bias can make us underestimate challenges and overestimate our abilities. Loss aversion. Did you know people hate losing more than they enjoy winning? For example, losing $50 feels way worse than the excitement of gaining $50. This bias keeps us from taking risks, even when the odds are in our favor.